Okay, so I'm just recording me getting rid of some videos. I want to get rid of stuff where I was talking the rapture. Don't really know why I'm recording this, but I decided I will. So I've got 340 videos apparently. I used, had up to a thousand because I did all the false teacher clips and stuff, and then I deleted them, and then I'll probably go back and add them in the future. So I just keep tw changing stuff until I get things figured out. But anyways. I do have to finish up the KJV audio Bible. I might just have to start all over again because I'm using a different process now. But for the most part, I'm going to leave the, all these. That looks fine for now. So it's 12 pages worth of videos. Starting with the oldest. Of course, some of the most recent ones where I teach correctly now that there is no rapture. So that's what I'm basically looking for is some end times teachings and the rapture and stuff. And I know that, you know, there's probably quite a bit of those, unfortunately. Let's see. Physical evidence of God. That's fine. What is conversion? Fine. Some of these might, I might mention the rapture and stuff in, but for now I'm just going to have to go get rid of the obvious ones. Uh, I ordered a few more books. I can't wait to get um, one of them. A brother introduced me to. Looks like all those are fine. One of them, a brother introduced me to this guy named Greg Bonson, who's dead now, but he was, I think he was a Calvinist, but he taught some pretty good stuff on apologetics, like defending the faith and, uh, you know, arguing um, with atheists and stuff, basically. Um, he taught presuppositional apologetics where you presuppose that God exists. You don't try to defend the existence of God. Uh, I'm not really against other alternative apologetic methods. I am interested in his, uh, and I think that I've kind of been that way anyways. Um, I mean, Christians should presuppose that God exists. We should start with that. Um, not try to get on neutral ground with a non-believer, but... But I'm not absolutely against, you know, evidential apologetics and talking about evidence and history and all that either. Uh, but, anyways, it was about a year ago, this guy introduced me to Greg Bonson and we were talking about it. And there's a book that Greg Bonson did. He did, I mean, he's made a few books. I The one on homosexuality I have is from him. But I was really interested in getting one on apologetics, where he uses the book of Acts and stuff, and shows how Peter and Paul are like, how they were preaching the gospel, and uh, kind of explains, you know, how it should be done. And it's a book that I've wanted for like a year, basically, another one. So I'm glad that I'm finally going to get that, and hopefully we'll get into apologetics more this year. Um, Let's see, and yeah, I don't know about some of these... The Rapture. Um, I kind of just say that it's not taught in these verses, but I'm still, you know, maybe I'll go over all that again, but I'm just going to get rid of those for now. So those will go where I say that the Rapture is not in Revelation, but uh, because I might say it's in Revelation 3.10. I know this one, I, I teach a positive Rapture thing. Uh, but those are all kind of positive rapture in a way. I know there's more than that, though. Um, should Christians separate over the time of the rapture? I'll get rid of that for now. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all those five videos. Then I'm going to have to go through and get rid of them on SoundCloud and everything else, so that kind of sucks, but it's how it is. So learn and move on, you know. Everybody does make mistakes, but that doesn't mean that we don't hold people accountable. And But at the same time, I'm just glad that I feel like I'm closer to the truth now 
than I have been, uh, definitely. So, repentance, replacement theology, Calvinism. Hmm. There's a book that I'm getting today, um, uh, that's supposed to be like the treasure, treasury of scripture or something like that. And it's by this Tory guy. I've shown before that I have this Tory's topical textbook. And this one, it's basically, it gives you a whole bunch of references for like every verse. So it's like a huge reference book. And it sounds really awesome. And when you have the internet, you don't really need it, but I thought I'd get it anyways, uh, because uh, it'll just be helpful. And if there's ever time I'm away from the computer or whatever, I can still have that. Um, seventh seal. Two witnesses timing. See that? Uh... I kind of want to get rid of this stuff that has to deal with Revelation for now. I might get rid of that too. Second Thessalonians 2 and 3. Day of the Lord. Mark of the Beast timing. See, so I got to get rid of all this stuff. That's all got to go. We're completely changing on the Revelation and the Rapture. But you know what? I plan to make tons and tons and tons of new, awesome, way better studies this year. So this is nothing. I'm still like a noob, but progressing from here. And I have the whiteboard now to work with. It's just, it's awesome. Actually, it I just checked, I haven't even touched the whiteboard for a while, I used it the other day, and it's a little bit wobbly, so i got to figure out how to get that secured a little bit better. I don't know how much work I'm going to have left, I worked this week, I think that I'm probably finished, but I could be surprised, you know, there could be like a freak day next week when tons of people order or something randomly, and they might want my help, uh, but either way... I think if I don't work next week, then I'm definitely done. Um, I definitely have to go through and watch these. Uh, oh, a little more, but... I'll get rid of that. True and false eschatology. Why well, I'm voting for Donald Trump. You know what? That's all over with. I don't care. I'm deleting that video. Uh, end time study tip. <laughs> Since I've changed my view on the end times, that's probably not the best idea. So I'll have to get rid of that. So that's going. Now we're down to about... Let's see... Oops, no, don't cancel. Are these still marked? Okay. No, delete. Delete. 325. Okay, we're getting closer to the newer videos. But I can't wait to start doing some new studies. We got a whole bunch lined up already and in mind and uh, stuff to do with the Jews and stuff I'm not quite so sure of either. Uh, and this probably has to do with the end times and stuff, but I'll go over these again. The new temple, that's going to be gone. The new temple, gone. Uh, I'll get rid of that. 
I'll get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. <laughs> you know, it's probably... How many times has the temple been built and destroyed? Will the temple be built in Jerusalem? Get rid of that. How will the Jews be saved? And So, anyways, yeah, as I said, I'll have to watch, look at these more closely to, to see what is actually taught in them, but there's 10 more videos gone, <laughs> so 315, which is still pretty good, so far keeping, what, an error, just delete, it's not very hard, delete the videos, okay, 315, Page 5. I'm glad I'm finally getting this done, though, instead of just talking about it, finally moving forward. Hopefully I'll get SoundCloud and um, Spreaker done today, too, and delete, and also um, Sermon Audio, but let's see. The two witnesses, the two witnesses, the two witnesses, <laughs> the Great Tribulation, the 144,000, the 100, all gone. Anything to do with Revelation has completely changed view now. Gone. 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 And, you know, I'll probably get a lot of videos of people quote-unquote exposing me or whatever, trying to refute me because they'll say that I'm taking a total spiritual point of view on the book of Revelation and everything. But, hopefully uh, some people will come to see things correctly as well. All that stuff probably needs to go to, but I'll hang on to that for now. I'm making progress anyways. We're almost down to 300 videos. Come on. Okay, 306. Page 4. Gotta be getting close to when I started changing. We're at a 13 minute long video of me deleting videos. <laughs> so many of these need to be redone anyways, but... <laughs> and stuff like this, this forum tutorial, I don't even have that forum anymore. It's a different one, so that's gotta go. And I really need to restart the audio Bibles. I need to make sure that I, when I start doing that again, that I really commit and sit down and finish, you know, whole epistles at a time and stuff. But that's okay. I made an attempt, but it kind of just needs to be started over. <clears throat> I'm getting another book on logical fallacies, like one that I just made a video on not long ago. This one's supposed to be really good and really scholarly. It was a little costly, but it seems like it'll be worth it. Uh, so I'm going to have some really good books on logical fallacies, so I'm really going to be able to get into apologetics and stuff really well, which is awesome, because I want to start witnessing more and... Um, it's just going to be really beneficial for all of us to learn that more. 
Matthew 24 is not the rapture. I probably still like talk about the rapture in that video, but here's another old forum thing. Okay. Getting so close now to being done. It's like once I delete all these videos, I'm uploading this video recording me of deleting videos, and then in a few days, probably not too much longer, I'm going to delete this video. But I guess I'm just recording this just to show you guys because you might not notice, you know, that videos are gone. But yeah, if I know that I'm teaching stuff wrong or whatever, I'm getting rid of it. Okay, I'll admit that I was wrong and get rid of it, and what else can I do? That's all that I can do. You know, basically, I think that the website is really the core of my teaching and stuff, so really, if people want to judge me by what I teach, you know, if, if it's on the website, then, you know, I'm not saying people can't judge me by the videos or whatever, they can and they will, but, you know, if I'm wrong, then I'll delete something. Rapture end times discussion. I don't know what I did here. I'm going to leave these here because here's when I started changing. So I'm saying the rapture. I'm saying, um, you know, death, resurrection, not the rapture. Okay. So I'm going to end this video here about 17 minutes. And hopefully later I'll get around to deleting the stuff off SoundCloud and Spreaker. And I'm going to be working on making more videos, so God bless.